the bows are very nice. <laughs> welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new today I'm just going to be showing you how I make the bowls um, for my cake sickles and if you would like to see how I make the cake sickles just um, leave it in the comment box and I will do a video on them these are just basic vanilla cake sickles um, the color is lavender with silver. I did some strawberries that I posted um, the same as these. So um, what I normally do is, this is how the bow is going to look. This has two colors in there because our colors are lavender and silver. And I thought it would be cute to add both of them. So since this is the first one. Now people do it different ways. This is so much easier. So I got these little ties for 99 cent at Michael's so what I do is I put the bow on there and then I'm sorry wrong way so what I do is So I just do two bowls like that, one in one hand and one in the other, and then I wrap one side around the other and pull from underneath. It's hard to do it that way. <laughs> I have to face it to me. And then I just play with it, try to fix it up, make it look nice and neat oh all the glitter i just try to make it look nice and neat simple and it's both of them together and then what i do is i take the scissors and cut it on an angle so i'll cut it on an angle just so it can be a little fancy and then I do it to the other side, cut it on the angle, and there you have it, a little bow. And then I grab my tie, and then I just tie it around there and make sure it's nice and tight. I grab it, make sure it's nice and tight, and then I place it around. Oh. Do you want? You do want a... And then I just tie it. Like twist it, I mean, not tie because you really can't. But I twist it, and you just want it to be tight enough that it doesn't slide up and down. And fix it to make sure it's nice and even. And see? Yeah. Nice and bow. This is simple. I do do dramatic bowls, but I thought this would be cute with this one. Nice and simple. show you guys another one and like I said I don't measure I just <laughs> go with the flow if it's too short I'll try it again <laughs> Thank you. 
and then you just fix it to your liking and what I do next is like I said I cut it just to make it even and I give it you know an angle cut it on an angle and then cut it on an angle like that and there is the love and then I put my tie around the middle and you make sure that it's going towards the back and then I just tie it make sure it's even and nothing is out of place For some reason my bow, I mean my um my tie is not going directly to the middle, but you see what I mean? It's like so you just make sure that it's tied and the bag secure and then you wrap wrap it around one side on one and then the other. And what I do is I just hold my finger on that so it doesn't be moving around everywhere because it will. And then I just tie, twist, I mean not tie, but whatever. Just twist and twist until it's secure and then it will be like that. So I'm just going to finish these out. After you left. Like I said, I don't measure. You got one end with a loop and then the other with a loop. And then wrap one around the other and pull through. It doesn't help that my gloves keep getting stuck and then the way that I have my camera facing it's kind of hard um, to like face it towards you guys and then see what I'm doing so you see how this one is long um, sometimes I'll just cut it to the size that I want it to be so I like I like the length, but on these cake tickles, it's not going to look right. So, like I said, you just slant it and cut. Perfect example. What I do next, I was waiting to see a little. So, I have this. Um, the dollar store has these. It's a lighter. Um, so, what I do is just burn off of the raggedy ends. And that's it. You just light it. And burn. Sometimes it doesn't cut well, and I just run it over it. I don't hold it here because it will burn it. And then just wrap it around and twist and twist. So it's secure on this end before you place it on the cake circle. Alrighty. And like I said, fasten, hold it in the front and twist in the back. And then fix it. Nice and neat. And I honestly like these two colors together. I never really made them two together in mine, but it's so nice. It gives me elegant, sophisticated. <laughs> Loop 
one end, and then loop the other, and then you bring them around town and pull it through, like so. And like I said, it's hard because I'm facing, trying to face you guys. Sometimes these can be very frustrating because they don't work the way you want it to. <laughs> but this is so cute. This is super, super cute. Cut one in. And then you... Sometimes I feel like I'd be all over the place with the cutting. Like they don't be symmetrical. Nice bow. And then you hold the middle, twist around the back, and make sure it's tight that it doesn't fall off. Sometimes you can just twist it like this. That's the easiest way. Because then you know what's on there. And then, like I said before, hold the middle of the bow so it doesn't move while you're twisting the back. And then what I do, I just push it down, like the remainder of it. I just push it down because you don't want that being in the way. And there we go. And I have one Matter of fact, I'm looking at my mat and I realize that it has a god darn ruler on there. So, I'm going to just show you how long this one is. This is 16 inches. Okay. So, and I have a centimeter size. I never paid that any mind. That is horrible. So, let's see. It's past 32 centimeters. So, let's see. I'm not going to touch that with that. But it's about 40 centimeters. 40 centimeters, 16 inches. So, that's how long that my um, two ribbons are together. So, I just grab one end and you make a loop like you're going to tie your shoe. And then you grab the other end and make another loop. This one is actually kind of long, so I'm probably going to have to cut it. I know I'm going to have to cut it. And then you grab the two ends and twist like so. And then you bring that through the loop. And pull. And then you see how long it is? Yeah. So if I was you, I would probably do about... 14 inches you might still have to cut it but at least you're not wasting as much of the ribbon as I am because now I have to cut it and like I said on an angle on an angle and then try to make sure it's even on both sides one side normally is longer than the other when you're done tying the bow but after you keep doing it you get used to it and it becomes easy it's only hard for me right now because I'm facing it the opposite way. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you hold it down and twist. And twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, that boat is done. The bows are done. And I just want to show you guys what it looks like.
the bows are very nice. Thank you.